Now let's look at the application of work. Work is an important concept from physics that computes the energy needed when a force is applied to move an object some distance. Some examples of situations where we'll be interested in finding the work done will be the work needed to lift a heavy object, the work needed to wind up a heavy chain or rope, um, the work needed to pump water up and out of a tank, and the work needed to stretch or compress a spring. So we'll look at the details involved in computing the work in those, those various situations, but first we need to go over the definition um, of work in the case that work is done by a constant force. If an object has moved a distance d in the direction of an applied constant force f, then the work done by that force is given by the formula work equals force times distance. So work is always based on force, the amount of force we have, and the distance that we're trying to move that object um, in the direction that our force is being applied. Also note that force is um, equal to mass times acceleration, so frequently we'll be computing work as mass times acceleration times distance. We'll be, um, in many of these situations, we'll be lifting our object um, against gravity in some way, so acceleration will be the acceleration due to gravity that we'll be incorporating. Let's just make a couple of notes on units, and then we'll just look at one example of um, finding work in the case that we have a constant force. So when we're working with these different problems, we will be working with metric units. Displacement will have units of meters. Mass will be in units of, of kilograms, typically. Force, if force is equal to mass times acceleration, would be in units of mass, kilograms, times units of acceleration, meters per second squared. But a kilogram meter per second squared is actually defined as a newton, so we'll be using newtons for a unit of force. And then work, with work being equal to force times distance, is units of force times units of distance, um, which would be a newton meter, and a newton meter is defined to be a joule. So our work problems will have units of joules. Now let's look at an example computing the work done in a case of constant force. How much work is required to move an object from x equals 0 to x equals 10, measured in meters, in the presence of a constant force of 3 newtons acting along the x-axis? So I have some object here moving along my, my x-axis from x equals 0 to x equals 10 with this constant force of 3 newtons. Well, applying our formula, our work is just going to be force times distance, where we're actually given units of force here, so I'm just doing 3 newtons times this distance that I had to move of 10 meters. So we would have 30 newton meters, or 30 joules, as the amount of work done. So go ahead and look at the next video to see what happens in the case that we have a variable force instead of a constant force.